there have been many lawsuits filed against social media giants. Now, Candace says social media algorithms targeted her, then 12-year-old daughter Cece, with harmful posts that glorified anorexia and other forms of self-harm. Now, Cece, who's now a senior in high school, says parents need to be warned that what happened to her could and is happening to other teens right now. I, I want to read an excerpt of Cece's letter uh, that was written in the hospital, and this is when you were 13. Yes. And you're okay with me sharing yeah. this. Um, and it's addressed, Dear Society, you always expect everyone to live up to certain standards. My self-esteem, along with many others, is super low because of you and the images you portray. Please, society, stop making all of these innocent teens and youth want to harm themselves and hurt their mentalities with vicious and cruel lies you stuff their brains with. We are so much more than how we look, act, and abilities that aren't useful like modeling and following current trends. You wrote that when you were 13. Yep. That's pretty impressive, pretty yeah, insightful. I spoke from what I, what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Now, your position in your lawsuit, what caused you to file it, and, and what you believe is, is what? What is the essence, just in lay terms, not legal terms, just in lay terms, what is it you're suing about? Intentional targeting with content that would addict my daughter to their product, causing harm to her, causing her to miss four years of her life um, and miss many opportunities in her education. Um, four years, she'll never get her adolescence back. And they targeted her, with, targeted her specifically with that content. She did not go looking for that content. And what would be the motive to do that? Money. But why that content? Why not because target her with butterflies from and my understanding, cute boys and things like that? Why target her well, with this? They get an idea that she was interested in nutrition. And then they thought, well, maybe she'll kind of like this over here. Um, that's in the, And they just took her deeper and deeper um, with content that I just... I did my own independent research, and Dr. Phil, the things that I saw were intentionally aesthetically produced in a very black and white sort of glamorous forum that encouraged eating disorders. So intentional targeting. Okay, and let me ask you guys in the audience, how many of you think that's going on, that these social media platforms are targeting young people in a way that triggers an addiction so they keep coming back more and more and more. If, if you believe that's going on, raise your hand. Raise it really high. Thank you. Okay, well, that's almost everybody believes that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and how many of you are on those social media platforms? Raise your hand really high. Mm -hmm. So almost everybody. So almost everybody thinks that there's toxic targeting going on, and almost everybody is, in fact, using those platforms, which is kind of a interesting fact. Now, the family has decided to sue Meta uh, and are joined by their attorney, Matt Bergman, from the Social Media Victims Law Center. Matt, it's good to see you again. Good to see you, doctor. Do they have a case here? Well, we believe they do. Uh, the only thing unique about Cece's case is she's here to talk about it by the grace of God and the love of her mother. And what happened to her was not an accident, wasn't a coincidence. It was a result of the direct design decisions that Meta made to target youth and through addictive uh, algorithms. Uh, they make their money by maximizing screen time. When you're on social media, you're not the customer, you're the product. They're selling your eyes on the screen. And the more time they can get young people to have their eyes on the screen, the more money they make. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.